Did you know that China is carrying out a total investment of 7 billion yuan and is known as the Underground Granary Desert Super Project? Some people may ask, with a total investment of 7 billion yuan, how much grain does China want to store? In fact, this project is not really in the storage of food. It is the underground gas storage that China built in Xinjiang. Why are gas storages called underground granaries? What is the significance of this gas storage to China? Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, as for today's video, I will take you to gain an in-depth understanding of the underground granary from a scientific point of view. Global warming has always reminded human beings that they must use clean energy, living a style of low carbon and environmental protection for their own development. At this time, the development of natural gas is particularly important. Official data show that China has a total of 384,000 cubic meters of natural gas and 13.2 trillion cubic meters of proven natural gas geological reserves. However, both the total consumption and the proportion of natural gas in the energy consumption structure are not satisfactory. In addition, from the perspective of geographical features and resource distribution, China's natural gas resources are more in the west and less in the east. Natural gas resources in the central and western regions account for 60 to 70 percent of both total and proven reserves, while natural gas resources in the southeast coast account for only 7 percent. The natural gas resources in the western region are more abundant, but the consumption is less. The eastern region consumes a lot, but does not have much reserves. Therefore, the construction of underground gas storage in the West is imperative. In order to rationally allocate natural gas resources, China began to build natural gas underground gas storages in the 1970s. The main purpose of building gas storage is to ensure a stable supply of natural gas. Unlike oil and coal, natural gas can be stored there without mining. Once natural gas is exploited, it will leak out continuously and if it is not stored in time, it will be wasted, although the West East gas pipeline has increased the consumption rate of natural gas resources in the West, the gas consumption is not stable. For long-term development, China has decided to build an underground gas storage in Xinjiang. Because natural gas is especially important for national development, the Chinese call it the underground granary, underground gas storage is simply a natural gas storage tank built underground. Storing natural gas when natural gas consumption is small and supplying domestic demand when natural gas consumption peaks can not only realize seasonal adjustment, emergency gas supply in accidents, but also realize national energy reserve strategic reserve, which is of great significance to national development. The higher a country's dependence on extraterrestrial energy, the greater the risk of energy security, and the more likely it is to be restrained by other countries. Therefore, the construction of gas storage has maintained the stable development of the country to a certain extent the commercial natural gas delivered by the long-distance pipeline is re-injected into the underground space, so that an artificial gas field is formed in a fixed area, which is an underground gas storage. Compared with the spherical tank on the ground, this storage method not only has large storage capacity, strong mobility, and a wide range of peak shaving, but also has a low storage price and is durable. Compared with ground facilities, it is also safer. At present, there are four types of underground natural gas storage technologies in the world, namely depleted oil and gas storage, aquifer gas storage, salt cavern gas storage, and abandoned mine gas storage. Although China has researched the technology before, the complex terrain in western China made the project particularly difficult. The construction of China's natural gas underground gas storage began in the 1970s and has achieved remarkable results since then. China's first gas storage test was carried out in 1975 in the well known Daking oil field. As of 2020, there are 27 underground gas storages in China, with a peak shaving capacity of about 12 billion cubic meters. 
With the continuous increase of oil and gas exploration and development, in 2020, China has invested nearly 7 billion yuan to start the construction of the first underground gas storage group in the West again. After this key project is completed, an unprecedented natural gas underground granary will be born under the desert in the northwest, which is of great significance. This is the first underground gas storage group in the West, the Wenjiasang Underground Gas Storage in Tuha Oil Field, Shanshan County, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The gas storage group has officially announced the news of the full-scale start of construction on April 20, 2020. The total design storage capacity is 5.6 billion cubic meters, the working gas volume is 2 billion cubic meters, and the total investment is 7 billion yuan. According to the plan, it is expected that by 2025, all construction projects will be completed and put into use gradually. Shenshan County has a temperate continental climate and is dry all year round. Everywhere you see is an endless desert. The Wenjisang Underground Gas Storage Group is built under the yellow sand that contains a lot of natural gas resources, and its development is very difficult. Once the Wenjisang Underground Gas Storage Group is completed, it can cooperate with the Xinjiang Hutubi Gas Storage and the Tarim Gas Drive Oil Depot to build a 20 billion cubic meter northwest gas storage. At that time, there will be a qualitative leap in the supply capacity of the Western Natural Gas Channel. Therefore, the Chinese had to challenge this impossible task. The exploitation and use of natural gas is an important step to promote the transformation of the energy structure. From another perspective, Natural gas is used as a fossil energy with higher combustion efficiency. Although there are problems in storage and transportation, compared with the slower regeneration rate of petroleum and coal resources, after natural gas is extracted, some reserves can be recovered after a period of time, and its use time is longer than that of petroleum coal, even if fossil fuels contribute to global warming. If natural gas is used as the main energy supply, it will not cause more pollution. Before new energy becomes the main energy, natural gas will be an important transition energy. In general, this project can not only effectively regulate natural gas resources in China and solve the problem of resource allocation, but also increase employment in the western region and improve the living standards of the people in the western region, which is conducive to promoting social stability and driving economic development. Besides, the construction of this project can also indirectly attract more talents, capital and technology for the development and construction of the western region, and is also an important measure to narrow the gap between the rich and the poor. In a nutshell, the completion of the construction of the Wenjisang Underground Gas Storage Group will ensure stable domestic energy supply. As the backing of national development, the importance of resources is self-evident. Accelerating the exploitation of natural gas is not only an important way to reduce pollution, but also an important step to promote the transformation of the energy structure. OK, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.